Hi, I'm Lam. Welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back to my channel. Today, we are putting onto the scale two replica all the toilet. One is springtime in the park and we're going to put it against flower market. Let's try to keep this video under 10 minutes. Spoiler alert, I failed. Before we begin, if you like this video, if you like my content, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my future uploads. Also, I happen to have two Instagram accounts. One is my personal account and one is my beauty dedicated account. So make sure you connect with me on Instagram because I would like to see more of you. I have a few replica fragrances video on my YouTube channel. I will make sure to link them all down below in the description box. Make sure you check them out. I purchased this set, the discovery set from replica with 10 different fragrances. That's why I'm doing these videos. I kind of picked pairs of fragrances that are kind of similar. For example, like Beach Walk, Beach Walk, can't talk today or any day versus sailing day or like today flower market versus springtime in the park the end of this series i will round up all of this and then will tell you which one is full bottle worthy in my opinion and which fragrance is for who all the tea you need to know all right now we get to the fragrance is that 10 minutes yet let's go to read the description of these fragrances on sephora website because Sephora is just where I trust. These two are going to retail for 135 US dollars for a 100 ml and there's a mini size in Sephora for 30 dollars for 10 ml. Springtime in a park. Relive the delicate and luminous essence of springtime through blooming notes of lily of the valley, green black currant, and the and fruity, the fruity effect, effect of pear. Of pear. This, this delicate, delicate perfume invigorates, invigorates with, the with the memory of walking, walking through, through a park, a park in, spring, in spring consumed, consumed by the by floral atmosphere. atmosphere. That was a mouthful. I got the notes from the Grantica website and for this one they don't have any. So I just know there's pear, lily of the valley, and musk. So pear is the sweet, a little bit floral leaning fruity note and uh, lily of the valley is a very usually a more clean floral it just brightens things up very well and then musk is musky <laughs> wow i'm great at description clean kind of like soapy scent you get what i mean i will spray this one on this arm remind me of your opening note right away the musk and the lily of the valley is very dominant a little bit of the pear so it's very clean and very fresh you can over spray this because it comes across very strong when you first spray it on because it's so clean and the lily and the musk is very very crisp it's a very crisp Sand. If you overspray, it will overwhelm you. The longevity is about two hours long. Well, the longevity, two hours, very strong. And then after that, it's kind of become even softer and it lasts about three to four hours. I have my notes, by the way, if I look down. It's a very clean, airy floral opening, but it's not quite like a white floral kind of a scent. It does give me a deja vu effect, but I think it's because it reminds me of a lot of soaps and body wash. I like it more after the first few hours because it gets softer and the pear comes out a little more. It smells like it's a very dewy flower. So it does have a little bit of a springtime in the park kind of vibe. This fragrance though doesn't really evolve. It's very simple. It's kind of stay the same. It kind of just has those three notes. So throughout the wear, it's just kind of the same scent, but a little bit softer. And you can scent the, you can feel the pear a little bit more toward the end. And it's not the most long lasting fragrance. I just think that is, it needs a little bit more. It needs more complexity for it to be this expensive. $135 for 100 ml is not cheap. And because it's an older toilet, it's not going to last 
that long on the skin. It's not gonna last as well as like an olive perfume or a perfume concentration. But because of that, I feel like I need a little bit of the complexity of it to make up for the lacking of the longevity and the lacking of the evolving of the fragrance. But still, it's a very warming, it's a very inviting, it's a clearly very summery kind of scent to me. Leaning a little feminine, but because it's so clean, I think men can still wear this well. Someone who likes super masculine scent wouldn't like this fragrance. Yeah, but that's, those are my thoughts. Next up, let's get to Flower Market. The description for this fragrance is... A flower, a flower market, market is a fresh, fresh floral, floral fragrance, fragrance that, evokes that evokes the memory, the memory of, of a Parisian, Parisian floral, floral shop. shop. An, abundance An abundance of colorful, of colorful blossoms, blossoms exude a brilliant aroma as you peruse through a local flower, flower market. market. Honey, Honey white, white tuberose flowers, flowers fused with fresh and fragrant variants, variants of rose, rose in a curated, a curated floral, floral arrangement beside you. you. Metal, metal buckets, bucket, rimming, rimming with, with a multitude of floral, floral compositions, splash across, crisp leaves on, on a cedar, cedar floor. floor. The, the verdant, verdant scent, scent of freshly of cut, cut stems, stems flow through, through a gentle, gentle and inviting, and inviting spring, spring breeze. It's a it's fresh, fresh fragrance, fragrance that gives off the sensation of peace of and contentment. And contentment. Very phantasmic kind of a description to be honest. I happen to have a whole flower market right here on my hand so let's spray it on this arm right now so that I can be reminded of her. This time we have all the notes. On the top we have Phrygia green leaves, middle notes we have jasmine, tuberose and normal rose and base we have peach, oak moss and cedar. So there is a little bit, of course, white florals and tube rose. There's some rose to it. There's some green leaves, which make, which means it's green notes. There's a little bit of a fruity touch from the peach and a little bit of woodiness from the cedar. I'm done. Very, very soft. It's even softer than springtime in the park. This one does have a little bit of springtime in the park vibe, but it turns into a different direction. This one is more green. Floral, it has a little bit of bitterness from the green notes. A lot softer is a lot more understated. Therefore, the projection is not as good as springtime in the park. This flower market projection is probably very, very small. The lasting power, it stays very soft for about three to four hours, and then it becomes a skin scent. So with this kind of fragrance, I would recommend doing a combination of spraying it on your pulse and on your clothes, because when you wear it on your clothes, it lasts a little bit longer than on your skin. So it will help a little bit with that. And make sure you moisturize your skin well, because dry skin won't retain the fragrance as well as moisturized skin. So those are just some little tips there. You're welcome. I said in my note here, it is a beautiful opening fragrance with a lot, a lot of flowers with some green. And then it gets more green later throughout the wear. The floral notes stay throughout the wear, which is very, very nice. It's a very simple and spring slash summer vibe fragrance. So it's very daytime, it's very spring, summer, warm weather. I totally see that. I can totally see this being very, very nice for the fall too, when the weather is a little bit cooler and you kind of miss that spring flowers. You spray this on, you kind of refresh yourself. I really like this fragrance. It's even more feminine than springtime in the park. It's softer. It's a lot more understated. It's not gonna offend anyone. It's not gonna last as long as the springtime in the park. But I love the complexity of it. I like that it kind of evolved a little bit. You have so many flowers in this fragrance that throughout the wear you kind of discover different scents. And then toward the end, the green comes out a little bit more. It's very soft. It's a very intimate 
scent. It does remind me of Flower Market. I do see that very clearly and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous spring summer fragrance. With my preference, I definitely prefer Flower Market. It doesn't last long and it's not as it doesn't have the biggest projection. But I like this one much more than Springtime in the Park. I still like Springtime in the Park. It's just the Lily of the Valley is not really my thing and Musk is also not really my thing either. I really much more prefer florals, green, a little bit of cedar. I don't really detect cedar though. That's another note. All right. Na -na 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 -na. Me more market like people, but fishy. I wrote some note in here at the end, but I can't read it. So I guess we won't find out. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know in the comment section below which of these fragrances is fitting to your preference. Which one are you looking forward to trying out? And do you already have any of these replica fragrances? I really am intrigued by them. I think they have a very cool concept of bringing you to a specific spot at a specific time, kind of having the deja vu effect because to be honest, that's what scents do to you. It brings you back to a certain period of your life. And let me know also if you have ever experienced that because I definitely experienced that a lot. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. Until next time, don't flop.